All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. This one's all about fitting a reversing camera to the stock standard hen unit. So uh, I've just purchased one from Street Sound and Vision. Let's have a look what it looks like and I'll show you how we install it. So here's the kit here. You get the AirPro uh, wiring harness, plug in the back, get a set of instructions from them and we get the camera. So um, I'll pop the link in the description below of the one I got. Uh, it was like 170 bucks or something. Um, so let's chuck it in and see how it looks. Nice, good, solid little camera by the looks of it. Harness to install supplied. A couple little screws in the box as well. So here's a harness, this just plugs into the back of the head unit. All right, so just following along on the instructions and um, so it says you don't need this black box. Um, so it just says to cut this green and black wire uh, and then it just says tape the ends up to prevent short circuit. So what I'm gonna do is just cut them at two different lengths uh, and then I'll tape them to uh, the loom here to support them as well, so. All right, so that's all done. So yeah, I just trimmed them at two different lengths, wrapped a bit of tape around the start, and then um, went the whole way around just for some support. All right, let's go start plugging it in and see how we go. So just a couple of old rags to protect the dash and stuff when I pull stuff out um, so I can rest it on it. All right, so I didn't realize the camera died on me, but um, so what I've done now, is um, pulled the front kick panel off. Um, so I'm um, just under the uh, steering wheel here. So there's just one bolt through here and then it just pops off. Um, and you just slowly work your way up both sides uh, and you won't damage anything. Um, and I've ran the, um, the green wire, which in my car has one of these plugs on the end of it, um, from the back of the stereo down to the footwell over here. Uh, and I've just got everything unplugged, just sitting there for now uh, so we can see how this all works. Once we're done. Um, so what I'm about to do is just slice. Uh, I'm just gonna get the stand knife and lightly press on here. And then um, we'll, uh, we'll have a look and see how we go here. Uh, you're just gonna have to be careful not to cut any wires. All right, now that I found that there was that seam there, so just cut along the seam on the bottom and then you can just spread it open and up, get it up and out. What I'll do for ease of neatness is I'll, um, I'll cut around the tube uh, and that way I can um, poke the wire in nicely and then um, I can electrical tape it all back up and make it look all nice again. So it says that if you've got a 2020 or a late 21 model, there'll be two wires that have red uh, slash black. So in mine, there's only one red with black. Um, and then it says in, uh, so the 2021 to current models, there should be five thin black wires. So let's see if we can find them. So these instructions aren't really great. Uh, they're not ideal. But um, we'll see if I can work out which one of these black wires I need to use. I'm assuming it'll be one of the thinner ones and hopefully one of the ones that's by itself. So we'll start with these two and go from there. All right, so I just worked out which one it is. Um, so if you, I guess, pull all your wires out and um, see if I can show you this. So there is a fair few black wires in here. Um, so there's three really small ones or four really small ones. No, three really small ones, a really large one. And then there's like a medium sized one. Um, 
So yeah, three really small, one really large, and then there's one in sort of in the middle. You want the one in the middle. So that's the one you want to pick up for your, um, your reverse signal. So it's a constant, it's a 12 volt signal once it's, uh, once it's in reverse. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and quickly tape up um, all these ones. I just I just took a, a nick off the insulation just so I could do a voltage check. Um, and now I'll, I'll just fix all them up and uh, make them look okay again. But uh, that's all I could think of to do. Uh, you can get a current meter, but I unfortunately don't have one, um, which you just put around the wire. I'm just cutting this so I can feed the wire back inside the cable uh, and have it all look nice and neat once I'm done. So just a couple of cuts around. Um, feed this one down so I've pretty much loomed it how I want to loom it and it's all going to run like that which is fine so pretty much how these things work you just feed the other wire or the donor wire through the center and then you'll clamp this over the top and then it um, sort of splices it in so no soldering required there uh, so here's our wire so I'll sort of just go where I nick the insulation Now I'll just squeeze that together with a pair of pliers. Alright, so what we've done now, uh, we've got everything connected, I've ran it all down through the dash. Um, so just on the back of uh, this plug here, there's only one grey wire in the whole lot. So you just need to solder the red wire from the back of the RCA connector to the grey wire on the back of this plug. Alright, so we'll give that a go now and then um, put it all together and see how we go. Alright, so we go, just a bit of solder on that. Um, so we'll put some tape on it. I'll tape this up so it doesn't vibrate undone as well. And then uh, we'll put it all back together and see how we go. Alright, let's turn it on and give it a go. Camera's all plugged in. How good is that? Reversing camera installed in a stock head unit. Doesn't take too long, you just gotta take your time and um, I'll now uh, run the wires through to the back of the cab and um, show you how I do that, but how good's that? We've got a review cam uh, reversing camera now. Super stoked. All right, so now I'll put this back on, so. Um, it's just the diff lock plug. Uh, I'll see if I can see the camera there. So it just plugs in like that, two clicks. Line all the dash back up again. And then just push it home until you hear all the clicks. Ten mil socket again, so it's been a ten mil socket for all this. Uh, and then there's just the one, one screw to hold this fascia plate on. Done. And I accidentally took this one out here. I thought I might have needed to, but I didn't in the end. Well, that's all done. All right, so what I did here, I'll just show you now. And I, I cleaned it up, so yep, I um, I just taped all that up, put it all back together nice and neat, and just kept the uh, the joiner up on top. Little white plug there just slips down like that. Um, so I'll put this wire through this grommet now, and then um, put all this kick panel back together. So just drilled a tiny hole through the center. I just try and feed the wire through that. You want it to be as small as possible, obviously. So I ended up going a seven mil hole, and then just a bit of. Um, water or spit or whatever you want to use and just slide it over the top and then we'll just slide that the whole way down through the hole yeah, so there it is all done now I'll see if I can run the wires on the bottom
All right, guys, here's what it looks like all done. I just finished zip tying it all up, so. Camera's tucked up pretty nicely, just there at the top of the winch hole, so. Because I'm not putting a winch in the back of this, I've utilized all my winch space. Um, so I just, um, all my excess wire and stuff, I've just taped it all up together and spot tied it in place, uh, zip tied it in place there. Uh, the wire just runs it through on the top uh, with the factory uh, or with the J-Max wiring loom. And then yeah, it just comes down the side. Again, following that that nice J-Max channel uh, where they run all their wiring. So it can come through, follows along on the top of the chassis there. So I've just got it coming along and uh, I followed the brake lines and just went along that. And yeah, here, just not tight but not loose. Comes across nicely, up through that grommet and back into the cab. So that's it guys, pretty happy with how it turned out. It's not that hard. So you just gotta connect those two wires, the red one on the back of the RCA connector, uh, and that goes to the gray wire, and then um, that medium sized black wire, which uh, I just ran the green wire down from behind the dash, and uh, I didn't even have to cut that or solder it, just clipped it straight on, and it works a dream. All right, guys, again, if you did like this video or you got anything out of it, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. There'll be plenty more uh, videos coming on the 79 and um, helping you guys out if you just want to do the same thing to your car. So thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Crystal's first drive, God help us. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> what are you doing? I put the brakes on. No, you didn't. You dropped the clutch. <laughs> This is why you shouldn't be in third. You should just be putting in second using the I brake. I was in second. After you dropped it in there. <laughs> I dropped it. Don't you use second like your gears to slow down? Well, not when you're in the suburbs. Oh, well, I do. So I don't have to use my brake. Well, you don't use your brake. You just take your foot off the accelerator. What am I should I be in second now? You should just be in... Oh, shit. What's that? Oh, that's the tyre. <laughs> Clutch cruise around the corner. Don't change the third, just leave it in a second.